Hi guys, it's the girl Nikki Know It All here again with a nice recipe for you. Today we're making traditional Jamaican style chicken soup. This is the best recipe for a Saturday because as you know, Saturday soup day in Jamaica. Watch and learn how we make it. Bon appetit! Okay, so the chicken we're going to be using today is from Best Dressed Chicken. We like Best Dressed because it doesn't have any hormones added. At least that's what they say. So we're going to use about half of this chicken, cut it up, take the skin off, wash it, and then we're good to go. Okay, so to make our soup, we're going to need veggies. We've got pumpkin here. We're going to put those in so they can mash out, get nice and soft. That's going to give the soup the body and the thickness that we're going to need. This is soft white yam. It's already been cut and washed. We're going to scrape that off a little bit before we cut it up and put that in the pot. We've got corn, we've got sweet potatoes, and we've also got carrots. So we're going to wash these, we're going to cut them all up, and we're going to put those in at the appropriate time. Soup is all about timing. You can't let things overcook. So you want to put the stuff that needs to be cooked the longest in first. So we're going to put the chicken in first. It's been washed and cut into small pieces. We're going to put the chicken in first. So we know that we want the chicken to cook like 30, maybe 40 minutes and everything else could fall into timing after that. If you know that you're, like right here we have the dumpling. We we got the dough that we're gonna use to make our dumplings. We don't want those to cook over like 25 minutes, so we're gonna put that in like 50 minutes after the chicken. Then after that, we're gonna put this in, the veggies in, in their right timing. We'll put the pumpkin in first so that can mash all the way out. The corn's gonna go in after because you want that to cook all the way out to soft. This yam don't need to cook, be cooked for too long, like 15 minutes before you turn it off, you put that in. And then the carrots, you're gonna put that in like five minutes before you turn it off because you don't want the carrots to get too soggy. So we're just gonna time everything in five minutes before we turn it off. That's when you're gonna put our seasonings in. We've got our garlic, we've got pepper, scallion, thyme, and um, allspice. You're gonna drop that in five minutes before we turn it off so we can get our awesome flavor. Okay guys, keep on watching. Okay, so we've got a five quart pot and we've put, filled it like two thirds of the way. Actually, it's four and a half quart pot. We filled it two thirds of the way with water. And now that it's come to a boil, we'll put the chicken in for it to boil. And then, like how you see these fat and stuff that rolls to the top, you could just scoop those out. You scoop all those out. That's why you gotta wash it a lot to get all that stuff away from there. But I washed it a lot. Wash it like five times. So you wanna take these out and then cover it and let it cook. And then we're gonna start dropping our ingredients in one by one. Okay, so I got most of the fat off the top. Little by little it'll turn into oil and then you can scoop it off easier. So I'm gonna put the pumpkins in now. Don't have to cut them small because they're gonna get really soft and mash out. This is what's gonna give the soup all the body, the thickness and the beauty that it's gonna need and flavor too this is like the most important ingredients okay so you're going to cover it up let that get nice and soft and then you're going to add your dumplings soon like about 10 minutes after yeah about 10 minutes time you could put it put your dumplings in okay see it's only been about like five minutes or so i went ahead and i made all the dumplings and see we've got the pumpkin it's getting nice and soft it's gonna mash all the way out so we don't want to worry about that it's gonna make it nice and thick and pretty so now we want to drop our dumplings in we made these dumplings here made them small not very big I usually put three per serving in the pot I expect to get about six servings out of here so I'm putting 18 of them in there see they're not that big so we're going to drop that in there. I'm going to put them in one by one. We don't want them to fall on top of each other and get clumped on each other. So we're going to drop them in different points in the pot. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and drop all these in, and then we're going to do our veggies. 
Okay, so when you put the dumplings in and it starts to boil again, that's when you're going to want to put the corn in. You want the corn to cook just as long as the dumplings, like 20 minutes or so. These are different than the American sweet corns. These are kind of hard, so you want them to cook a sufficient amount of time. And it gives a super great flavor, so you want to put some corn in there. Trust me, that's the secret to great soup. It's two whole corn I cut into small chunks. See, you don't want to put too much water in the pot in the beginning because then everything won't fit. But pretty soon, it'll evaporate because it's got to cook the flour for like 20 minutes. So eventually, a lot of that water will come on out and it'll get thick from the from the uh, pumpkins. See, this pot's almost full, but it's all good. It's going to cook down because it's going to cook for 20 minutes before we do anything else to it. Okay, so 15 minutes has passed since I put the dumplings in there and I've taken out, about 10 minutes has passed, I've taken out the, the pumpkin so I can mash it and get it nice and machine soft so that's going to give it a really rich texture. That's why I left it in such a big piece because it was easier for me to take it out to mash it. See, it's still hot, all the steam is releasing from it. You can put this in a food processor, a blender, anything you want to get it nice. Okay, so now we're going to put the pumpkin back in and you're going to see how rich this gets right away. Put that back in there and stir it up and you will see a total instant difference. See, that's why you got to use a lot of pumpkin to get the color nice and rich and to get the texture nice and beautiful. Look at that. Okay, let me scrape the rest of that in here and then we're going to put the yams in. Soft white yam and sweet potatoes, we're going to add that too right now. So I scraped the rest of it out of the bowl into the pot. See how thick and beautiful that is? So you go ahead and stir that in. And instantly our soup has gotten a beautiful color. It's going to get thicker the more it cooks because then the water is going to evaporate. That's going to cause it to get thicker. So now we're going to put our yams and our sweet potatoes, soft white yam and sweet potatoes, all that in there, so we've got our veggies to eat, our roots to eat, this stuff is good, full of minerals and stuff like that because it's grown in the earth, so it's full of minerals and nutrients, so our body needs this stuff. Drop it all in and cover it up. Let it simmer. The only thing left to be added is the carrots and the herbs. I add those last. About five minutes or so before everything's ready. When I taste it, I put the herbs in there. And then I got to put two packs of cock soup up in here. That good Maggie cock soup. Got to show you that in a minute. That's a secret, baby. Okay, cover it up and let it simmer. because you don't want one big lump of salt or seasoning to be lodged in any one spot. The best way is to take some of the soup out, put it in the bowl, mix it all out really well, then drop it in. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add my carrots and my herbs. I've taste tested the yam and it's like halfway soft. So I'm going to go ahead and add my carrots and add my herbs and garlic, all that good stuff to get the rest of the flavor that I need to make my soup perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and stir all that in. I swear I should have used a bigger pot, but this is okay. You 
put a little crack in the pepper so the um the heat will take its time and leak out of it you don't want it to be bursted and burning it's going to be too hot okay guys thanks for watching this video i hope you like it hit the like button share with your friends don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell that way when i post new videos you can see them right away thanks for watching and you have a blessed day